In this public service announcement, I'll walk you through seven simple steps how to not get shot by the police in America. But of course, these steps can be used in any country really. A few notes first. Note A. There are over 397 million guns in the US. That's more guns than people. There's a good chance that when the police interact with somebody, that person will have a gun. So of course, the police will err on the side of caution. Note B. Remember the goal of the police is to protect themselves and the community. If they don't protect themselves, they can't help anybody else. Note C. Police are not lawyers. Although they have a fairly good grasp of the common laws in their community, they can't possibly know all the little statutes, case laws, and legal precedents that exist throughout the country, state, and county. Nobody knows all these laws, so don't expect the police to know them all either. Now onto the list. How to not get shot by the police. Step 1. Be polite. If you're polite to the police, they'll be polite to you. It's even in their name. Just change the C to a T. Police polite. Nobody likes an idiot, so if you act like an idiot, prepare to be treated like one. Step 2. Obey all commands. If a police officer asks you to pull over, pull over. If they ask to see your license, show them your license. If they ask you to wind down your window or turn off the music, just wind down your window and turn off the music. Yes, you could argue about your unalienable rights and that you have the right to listen to music and keep your window wound up and all the rest of it, but will that build a good rapport with the police officer? No. So make it easy on yourself and the police. Obey all commands. Step 3. Show your hands. Remember Note A? There's over 393 million guns in America. If you're not showing your hands, what do you think the police are thinking? They think you're reaching for a gun. Of course they think that. If they didn't think that, they could end up dead. So do the smart thing. Show your hands. Step 4. Don't make any sudden movements. If you move suddenly, what do you think the police will think? They'll think you're reaching for a gun. Remember Note A? There's over 393 million guns in America. If a police officer pulls you over, don't rummage around in your glove compartment as they're approaching your car. They'll think you're looking for a weapon. If they want you to get something, they'll ask you. Whatever you do, do the smart thing. Don't make any sudden movements. Step 5. Don't resist. If the police feel the need to apprehend you, even if you think it's unfair, police are allowed to use reasonable force when undertaking their lawful police duties. Resisting them will just lead to them using more force, which will eventually lead to them using deadly force. If you don't want to get shot, don't resist. Even if the police have made an honest mistake, you should not resist arrest, because in the moment, they don't know they've made a mistake. Do the smart thing. Don't resist. Step 6. Don't be a lawyer. Even if you are an actual lawyer, don't try to lawyer the police. They don't know who you are. Let them just do their job. If they make a mistake, fine, sort it out at the police station or in court. There's nothing you can say to convince a police officer in the moment that they are wrong on a particular law. Remember Note C? Police are not lawyers. If they ask you to stay in the car, but you get out anyway, stating that, According to this state's Transportation Code, Chapter 547, Section 3, any occupant, including the driver, may exit a stopped vehicle if safe to do so. Well, the police officer is going to be pissed off with you for not obeying his commands, and may even fear for his safety. You might end up finding yourself on the ground with a knee in your back. Don't be a lawyer. Step 7, and this is the final and most important step if you don't want to get shot by the police. If police have their guns drawn, do everything they say. Obey all commands, show your hands, don't make any sudden movements, don't resist, and especially, don't be a lawyer. Now's not the time for talk. If they've got their guns drawn, they're fearing for their lives or the lives of others. Just do what they say and you won't get shot. As I've always said, start complying to stop the dying. <laughs>